What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the weekly war cry. I'm your host, Norgaz, and I have a very itchy face right now. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I do have an I do have a new haircut. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm balding, whatever. Yeah, you look like a loser that is your mama's basement. It's actually my father's basement. Looks aside, let's get down to it. This is the weekly war cry. Steady your swords and prepare for war, soldiers. This is the uh, the weekly installment of your For Honor news and For Honor updates into all things For Honor related. I'm your host, Norgaz, and of course, this week, we have some good stuff in store for you. And we're going to be talking about Tiandi and Shaolin, a little bit about Breach. We're going to be talking about the server degradation. And we're going to talk about new ornaments. And we've got a really awesome clip of the week for you guys. So stay tuned for the subs. You don't want to miss this. Stick around. Keep watching. Do not miss it. And let's get right into it, shall we? So let's start talking about Tiandi and Shaolin. But first, let's talk about Breach. Bre There's footage right now on YouTube. About the same time I recorded, I finished recording last week's episode, new stuff started popping up the following morning. Some content creators were given permission by Ubisoft to record and release footage from the technical test. So keep in mind, though, that if you are not one of those individuals, you are probably still under the NDA. So I would recommend and I would request don't talk about it unless you have permission from Ubisoft. I don't know what the NDA was. I was not part of the technical test. So moving forward, Breach looks really awesome. If you want some good footage for that, Zero Crack did a video. It was about half an hour long of uh, Breach talk, giving some, doing an interview with somebody talking about tips for competitive play and stuff like that. And it looks like it's a humongous map. It looks like it's a combination between elimination with some buffs Dominion, which which where you have capture points along the way that give you buffs and give you uh, things like archers and th and and stuff like that to kind of even out the the odds. And the King of the Hill, and the King of the Hill aspect is where you actually have to be on the battering ram, kind of like in the story mode. If you ever did that, if you didn't ignore that to keep it moving forward, you got to keep it clear. Just like it's it's that's basically mid. Uh, in Dominion, you got to clear out everything. You can't uh, have other players, or I think even other minions on that point, or the ram will not function, will not work. It looks really interesting, looks really awesome. Defenders definitely have the advantage, but attackers being the underdogs, that's what I want to be. I always want to be an attacker. Looks very, very cool, very, very fun. I'm very, very excited about it. I'm sure that you are too, but uh, take a look at the bottom of the page. I'm going to have some links to all the stuff on Tiandi, Shaolin, and Breach. So you can go check out those content creators. Uh, Tiande and Shaolin. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking me what I thought about these heroes. And after watching a decent amount of footage, my original hypothesis on, on Shaolin was either it's going to be overpowered and it's going to be a new mix-up king or it was going to be a complete flop and was going to burn through way too much stamina. And it looks like I was wrong on both fronts. Stamina management seems to be okay. And damage doesn't, and mix-ups don't seem to be overly overly potent or, or too strong, and, and I think that's fine. So I'm not going to talk much about Shallon. What I'm going to talk more about is Tiandi. Tiandi se it seems to be poised to be a very strong contender in both fours and in duels. The one thing that I think is going to be the biggest mix-up option, in my opinion, so far it, for Tiandi, and maybe it, it might just be temporary, is going to be the 900 millisecond heavy dodge. The 900 millisecond heavy dodge, you can actually feint very late into it and you can change you know cancel into like a, a parry or a light or whatever so that is something that people are going to have to react to and get used to i compare it with season one berserker spin chop before you say anything i am well aware there is a difference between a dodge light and a dodge heavy okay that's you're missing the point the point is in season one berserker for about the first month that spin chop People either didn't expect it or just could not react to it in time. So it was a very strong mix-up option for a Berserker. I think Tiandi is going to be the same way for, uh, say, maybe the first two to four weeks for those that are inexperienced with facing Tiandi. Because you not only have a very weird, very awkward, slow 900 millisecond attack, you can also faint that halfway through into something that's much faster, drop it into a light. With that... 
it's almost like a hidden stance, like a mobile hidden stance, because you can use that to dodge almost every, you know, every attack. And you're kind of doing like a sideways, horizontal, vertical moonwalk kind of move. And you're kind of slinking like a cat this way and that way, and you've got that that faint option there, you know, depending on how your opponent reacts. So I think that's a pretty, pretty solid move. And for forge, you've got that giant kick. And your teammates are going to be able to score a ton of damage on. It's going to be insane. The other thing that's going to be pretty good for Tiande is its Palm Strike. Yes, and every time I say Palm Strike, Palm Strike, it is going to be very, very cool. Because whenever you get a Palm Strike, you actually have... <laughs> I'm not editing that out. Leave it alone. All right, so anyway, so... You can't change your guard after the palm strike to react to react to the light that comes after it. It is a I believe it's a 300 millisecond, and with the recovery time, you can't change your guard in time to actually block it. You have to change your guard before to what you think it's going to be. I think it's before, maybe during. I think it's before though. Before you actually have to, before you get hit, you have to change your guard really fast, and then it's pretty much just a guess. It's a guessing game, a three-point guessing game. So that some people are maybe are saying may be overpowered. I don't know. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Tiandi Shaolin and Breach. Uh, server degradation. So server degradation is basically I haven't read I haven't really seen a lot of specifics on on this from Ubisoft, but ever since Friday, late night Friday, it would the servers have been kind of finicky kind of on and off on again off again kind of like my love life and it's not been solid it's not been consistent you know where it, they'll turn them on and then they'll be okay but then they're not okay but then ultimately they're having problems and if you've been experiencing issues with the servers they are working on it diligently so don't get too mad at them, you know, we're, they're just as passionate about this game as we are. But I'm letting you know, it is an official problem. It, as far as I know, it hasn't um, been resolved yet, but they are working heavily on getting it finalized and out of there. Now, new ornaments hit the, hit the streets in the game this last week. Let's talk about those in the form of elite outfits, so 7k steel each. Vikings get some really big horns, like they needed anything else to be more horny. Then you've got the knights to be more sophisticated. We put three feathers on their heads. I get like a pin and quill kind of a, kind of thing because there's like a gem on your head and the feathers stick out. And then the weebs get like some random like uh, crossfire Beyblade stuff. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. But, you know, Samurai, the weebs will get weeb stuff. I, whatever, I wasn't really, I don't care for that anyway. So anyway, guys, moving forward, clip of the week. Subs, everyone, you've been waiting on this. This is my, one of my favorite parts because it's going to be from my stream. And it is from a night we did blindfold duels. Now, when I say blindfold duels, I literally mean I put a blindfold on like that all right and you'll be able to see that in the video because i do stream with my webcam i have no shame i'm not afraid i'm not afraid to show my cam here i am anyway <clears throat> let's get down to the clip before i embarrass myself anymore shall we so this clip let's go ahead and preface it with this all right this clip is the very first duel match that i had for the evening the first two matches the first two matches I actually had with my blindfold off. And this, I actually had my blindfold on. And it was the third match, third fight of the night, third round of the night of the first match. And this is what happened. He whipped. So, so. I missed the light. Victory. What? What? Are you <laughs> As you can see, I was very excited to to get that win and very surprised to get that win. And of course, we did have more wins and more losses as the night progressed. We have a lot of really good clips and highlights from that night. 
I do have another YouTube video on a, a full match that was really, really intense and really, really fun. But yes, keep in mind, guys, yes, that was a real blindfold. Yes, I couldn't see anything through it. Uh, no, nobody was in voice chat with me. Nobody knew. This was all random matchmaking. Nobody had any idea that I was blindfolded unless I specifically told them because they were like, are you okay, man? Are you okay? I'm, yeah, I'm fighting you blindfolded. No, you're not. <laughs> so anyway, that was a really fun night, and we'll continue to do that stuff going forward in the future as well. So thank you guys so much for choosing me for your source of For Honor news and entertainment. And of course, guys, rate this up, down, left, right, sideways, in and out, whatever. Thank you very much again for being part of my community. And I wanted to tell you guys, remember, Sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. Wherever you may be, be cool, be well, be safe. Tuesday through Friday, be back. 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitch. And of course, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. Or on the battlefield.